All right, we know you've been waiting to hear more about this game since it was announced back in April. And now it's time for a deep dive into the world of Vikings. My name is Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So a couple of weeks ago, we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the reaction from the fans was just amazing. The time period of Vikings is really, really inspiring. When we did our research, we found that, you know, there were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. And so they had really human motivations. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore is really something that drove us to, to make this game. The team went to Norway and England to take the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. And then leaving Norway, which is barren but majestic, and just coming by boat in England and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life, is just this moment that most likely the Vikings felt as well. You need to see this land of opportunity. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this game. It is a personal adventure, you know, it is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is uh, either a male or a female, you decide when you start the game. They will have to leave Norway to settle in England because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available. Obviously in England, it's full of Anglo-Saxons and other people, and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Vikings were brutal warriors. Shields! And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times really inspired us to kind of revamp the fight system. To leverage the brutality and the intensity of Viking combat. Vikings were not only fighting face to face, they were masters of stealth and deception when needed. They used basically any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle. So we want to portray the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. We are very happy to finally be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please enjoy this deep dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeet and you guys are watching Jay-Z Crazy Gamer. In this video, I will be sharing with you the official gameplay of Assassin's Creed Valhalla from UBI Soft. And later I will be sharing with you the gameplay which the gamers have played in UBI, in UBI Soft. So guys, Please don't dislike the game yet because we don't know about the storyline, we don't know much about the game, we just have got a short video of the game and it is quite interesting for me apart from some, uh, some things. I know a lot of audience are disliking this video but in my opinion it's not awesome but great. So watch this video and we will be discussing every detail of the gameplay so let's start watching. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. A land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. crew will assist you on all your raids, fighting enemies, battering down doors, and stealing cargo too heavy for one set of arms. Whatever riches and resources you pillage may be used to develop your settlement, giving you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made, and a guide for future opportunities. The Viking Age was a time of warriors and legends. 
In Valhalla, you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Every archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen warriors. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a Viking harpoon. Pummel them with throwing axes. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance. Or finish them off. Dual wield any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Customize your fighting style as you see fit, and become a legendary Viking warrior. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Not all situations call for violence. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies, avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes, an unseen hunter among the people. From capital cities and villages to the dense forests and rolling hills of England, exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Hunt and forage to replenish your health and fortify your equipment. Search pagan temples and Roman ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. The more you explore, the more of England's secrets you will reveal. Ravens, show no mercy! But as you push deeper into England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded Saxon fortresses. Today, we will reclaim her. Today we fight for your land, and tomorrow we rebuild! For Easter! Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands, inspired by Norse myths and England's pagan roots. It will challenge and surprise Thank you, with unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs, and tragic losses, giving you the chance with your own Viking Saga. This is the biggest date of 2020, it's November 17th, the biggest game of the year is coming, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I don't know about you guys, but I, trust me, I like this video, this was super cool. The gameplay was amazing, but I promised you to show the gameplay more. So keep watching this video for more gameplay with me. That's nice. Wow, they've got swimming school. Oh boy, that was freaking. What the heck is he looking at now? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Ivor? I think that's the war noise. Go, kill them! Oh, that's Burj Castle mission. That's maybe a side mission. 
well. These, these defenses are good, but I would be loving it if they would have added some parry attacks with access as it was in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sorry, it was in Assassin's Creed Revelation. But I don't think the parry is... Oh boy! Oh boy! That was badass. Oh. Kill them all! Oh boy. Shit. That is literally breaking the shields. That's nice. I think it's a Viking place, it looks from the scenario, but uh, can't say it may be Saxons. Oh boy. I, I was already talking about different level of enemies, I guess. That was the one because he pushed Ivor really far. Oh, that was nice. Oh! Okay. Oh, these jumping attacks are awesome. I mean, it really killed it. Okay, the headshots are back, and that was very nice. Well, in previous few Assassin's Creed game, the headshots were not there, but uh, here it is. Wow, back. Wow, that's the kick. I love that kick from Odyssey also, and this one was also very nice. Oh, Pierce, Pierce it, Pierce it, boy. Damn it. Okay, these are some bit of aggressive actions apart from Odyssey and Origin. Break it. Break it, damn it. Uh, graphics seems a bit unfinishing. Yeah, you can see it's written also work in progress, so it will be developed later. Well, Ubisoft does it a lot of times. He shows us some gameplay before its final content so that we will be much more waiting for the final content. The fighting skill is really awesome, guys. But I still regret the parry is, is not here. I haven't seen it yet. Well, the headshots are really killing. That's uh, new in here because in last Odyssey and Origin it wasn't there. The arrow was very weak, but uh, here headshots are killing people, so that's good. I think you have to remove those helmets first before or uh, hit someone without the helmet to kill him with the headshot. Oh, fire. That's raining fire from the skies. Kill them all. Oh, nice. Shot, yep, done it. Wow, the arrows actually have improved a lot. Because in Odyssey and Origin, the arrows were not that much important, but uh, here the arrows have a lot of improvements. This is the second gate they are breaking. Stand fast! This will be over soon! Worry not for me! You must stop! Silence, fool! So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon whore, son? If this swine is your prize, come and get him! Okay, there was some poor graphics and some really terrific actions but still i don't like the voice of ivor i mean it doesn't match with its personality of that big strong male but i've heard the voice of ivor in female version and that was quite good this ivor looks very deadly and dangerous but its voice is like a just a i don't know a small guy or something like that
So will there be an air assassin? I guess. Yep. There it goes. Nice. This was really awesome. Killing the wolves. Uh, I was guessing actually the wolves will be like a friend in this guy, but uh, this game it's uh, different now. But can't say. Oh come on, Dolph is getting so much bidding, still not okay. Yes, he's dead. But now he surrendered. The mighty Al. Sorry, it's not okay. Yeah, he surrendered. The mighty Ivor won. You go in with these wastrels, these arrogant swine. For what? A scribe of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. Okay. I too don't get it. Your reign? So is he a king or something like that? Okay, he has saved the king of East Anglia, so guess they will be friends now. But why did this happen? I don't know. Well, we have to play the game to get that. This guy looks so dangerous, but the voice is so damn. Well, he called the horse. Okay, someone's wedding is there. Who's wedding? Okay, Oswald. Oh, the king of East Anglia. Oh boy, you can see that that that's some graphics fault, but it will be get better with. The final game. Okay. That's French. Yeah, you will be positively dead. Okay, so East Anglia is suffering. Oh boy, everyone is nervous in his marrying days. Okay, we are witnessing a royal wedding. But why these people dress like this are here? I think that's the costume at that time. Look at his beard, it's funny quite. Oh boy, it's really funny. Well, that's the bride. Okay, is she a viking? Is she asking his permission? Really? Oh, that much respect is really great. Oh yeah, I think she will see as a viking. Okay, so I think this is the part of the game, guys, where the marriage just takes place to combine two groups or two tribes. And here we can see the Saxons and the Danes are marrying each other for a better future, I think, guys. With blood? Really? Wow. Rings. Oh, his fingers are bent. Queen. Oswald of Elman, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. It is Lady Valdis, so this will be the ceremony. Wow. No kissing? Okay. Will he go away from here or what? Eivor, I'm about to address our guests and I'd like you to be there. Why? Nope. I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my oh, Avor looks bold. I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. My fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. So I think this mission is the part where the Christians and the Danes got together in the game to fight for right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Still a bit softer. Yep.
and all they have done for us. Okay, though, now East Anglia and Raven Clan has joined together. That's nice. Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as the first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I've ever known. He is stern, he has wisdom, he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. Really? He's the king East Anglia deserves, and the king you need. I don't see it that way. Bridal race. And ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. Now what happened? Oh shit! Who the heck is he? Really? Oh, you're gonna die, boy. Okay. Your fight is bigger than this one. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Yep. You would have died your fight with that beast. I'll slay the wolf's piss, then hang you with your old tongue. Go ahead. Whoa, well, that was nice. Oh shit. Whoa, I've got some talent, guys. Come on, one more stunt. Oh, swing. Whoa. He's gonna die. Mm, killed it. I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. We're leaving now. I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor. You've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you. Well, advice. who will protect the king now? One day I will need you to make good on that promise. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> 